Hello, my name is Kain Chan, the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you about extending JPA repository. Now, I've actually uh, just saved the SQL the data file we have, so I've added some more data so that we can actually use it to test how to extend JPA repository to actually search or filter the data we have to select database in certain criteria. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open one of these repositories Meanwhile, let's, let me run the application to make sure everything is okay before we continue because that is always is something I always like to do so that I'll not spend time debugging. All right, so hopefully everything works out fine. Mm, good. So Tomcat started, so everything is okay. So what we are trying to do now is to find a way to filter the data. So for instance, if I go to Let's say if I go to the H2 console again, go to H2 console, where this H2 console is. Okay, I don't figure out where it is, so I'm simply going to, I'm simply going to come here and say, HTTP slash localhost, localhost spot 8080, and I'm going to say users. Perfect. So now we have a list of users. Uh, anyway, I think I wanted to go to H2, H2 console, but uh, I think I find it somewhere. I got it. So this is H2 console. So I'm going to refresh and log in. Okay. So I'm going to refresh this. Okay. So now in H2 console, you can see that. If I select list of users, I, I have list of users. Now, I can actually write queries here, like select start from users where uh, location ID equal to location ID. But in Spring Boot, uh, in this code for database, because we are not going to be spending time writing these queries, the system is going to do it. JPA repository have methods that can actually give us these queries without us having to write it. So let's start with the first one. I mean, we want to the filter to get users in a particular location. So what we are going to do is to go to JPA repository. So let me, let's get back to Spring Boot. So it's to go to JPA repository and then try to adjust something there. And I also have to explain to you a bit about request mappings. So let's go to JPA repository for let's say user because we are trying to find users for a particular location so i'm going to go to src main java and i'm going to look for a user now at this point let me go to jpa repository okay i already uh wrote one so now if you look at it they 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 uh hate to console hmm, i don't like this okay uh, let me just take this and use it to get to A2 console here. So I actually want to go to H2 console. So if you look at the H2 console for users, you can see that what we have there is location ID. So what we want to do now is to get users by location ID. And that is why in Spring Boot, in JPA, this is the repository. We simply write the methods to to override. Uh, we simply write the methods uh, find by location ID. So what is happening here? When we give find by location ID, Spring Boot's uh, JPA have a method uh, a method template called find by, and this is. Uh, object uh, or let's say class find by class name ID so this is what Spring Boot have inside so if you have other uh, objects or other uh, variables related to users you can also find let's say you have um, let's say uh, gender you can say find by gender ID and things like that Later, we'll talk about criteria, but now let's see find by location ID. We now want to filter this list to give us users only in a particular location. Now, 
for this to run, we also need to go to the service and also the controller. So let's go to the controller first. So now we want the, the user to find by location ID by going to slash user slash location slash ID. So that is this is what we want the user to type. And it gives us list of users filter by location and then the ID. That is this format. So now to get that done, we are going to specify a request mapping of uh, request mapping. And now the value is going to be slash users slash location slash ID. Right? So I'm, I hope this is clear. So this is the request mapping for the users for a particular location with that ID. So again, this will be similar to find by ID. So I, I simply will copy, uh, I simply will copy this as well. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. But I'm going to now say get user uh, get users by location ID. Okay, so the ID is coming from the path variable, just like in the 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 the, the, the ID at this time is the location ID and not the user ID. So return user service to get users by location ID. So remember the architecture that. The, the controller talks to the service, the service talks to the repository. So now we are saying user service to get the users by location ID. So this get users by location ID has not been written in the service. We have it in the repository as find by location ID. So I'm going to write this method in the service. So I'm going to just, so let's see, let me just make sure everything is fine. So, but at this time, also take note that we are returning a list of locations, a list of users. So I'm going to just say public list user. That is what we are returning, right? So now user service that get users by location ID. Mm, okay, so so I'm going to I'm going to create a method get users by location ID. Now I'm creating it in the service. So I'm simply going to say, I'm going to say, because repository method already have this. So I'm going to say, call the repository and tell the repository to give me the users by calling this find by location ID uh, from the repository. So let's get back to the service. So I'm going to simply say a return, a return, the name of the repository is user repository, user repository dot find by location ID, and I give it the ID, right? Okay, so this is fine. I think we got it, uh, but this is proper case. Okay, perfectly okay. Um, I don't, I think, okay, there is something we need to check. We go, we are going to the user controller, list user find by location ID, perfect. So what is happening here is we will go to slash user slash location slash ID, take that ID, give it to this function, get users by location ID, and the repository is going to simply uh, use this method to, to get it. So let me refresh and let's see what wh whether it works and hopefully it works. After which we try to move on to to other things. So I think everything is successful. It works fine. So let's now go to testing. So this is users. This is users. It works. So now I'm going to go to location. location slash one so uh, user slash the application has okay so there was an unexpected error missing URI okay I, I, I'll we'll have to solve it 
So let's get back to where we are. So, so at this point, let's see. I think the problem should be coming from the controller. So you have to see, I can see the, should be capital letter I, as you can see, capital letter I. And this should be capital letter I as well, because the parameter is specified as uppercase I. So, um, okay, so I'm going to relaunch it and let's see what happens. After then, we try to find users with the same, maybe the same last name or something like that. So after which I'll now allow you to do all this by yourself, because now I'm sure you should understand it. So you can see Tomcat static. So we are going to go back here and I'm going to refresh this page. And now it gives me only two users, and you can see the location is Budapest, Hungary, for these two users. Now, you can see that, um, let's see, uh, there's some users that have the same surname. So that's, let me go back to the users list. Okay, so you can see two users have the same first name. You can see here, the first name, yeah, the same first name, on no, no, here. So, let's find users by first name. So let's go back to our JPA repository and extend it. So at this point, I'm going to go to the JPA repository and I'm going to add public public list of user. And this time is find by first name uh, string first name so it's as easy as this there is nothing else you need to do and now in the in the in the in the controller the in the in the service and in the controller so let's do the controller first so the URL we want to type it to be slash users or slash first name then we provide the first name so let me borrow from the Define user by location ID. So, copy. So at this point, the request mapping is going to be slash user slash first name uh, slash first name. Okay, so so it's gonna be string first name. Oh look, oh this is first name. So it's going to be get user by first name. So I'm going to change the location ID to first name. So um, what are we missing out here? Get user by location ID. Okay, so get user by first name. All right, so that is how it is. So I'm going to now create this function in the service uh, class. So I'm going to just create a method. As you can see, the pop-up says create a method get user by first name in the user service. So it creates this method for us. So I'm simply going to, from this service, I'm going to just call the repository. I'm going to say user repository dot uh, find dot find by first name by first name okay so as you can see and it has a first name first name okay all right so why do we have this error so I'm going to actually return it all right so in this case now we should have users by first name and the request the URL parameter is going to be slash user slash first name and you specify the first name now I'm going to run this application and let's see. If everything works fine, then we should be able to have users by first name. And I'm going to now give you an assignment. Try to do get post by user, right? Get post by user, yeah. Try to do get post by user. Get all the posts made by a particular user. Uh, maybe get post by date as well. Uh, let's now go back here. So at this point, I want to search for users. Users, perfectly okay. So now we want to do by first, first name is going to be, let's see, perfectly okay. So you can see the first name is, is returned, so it filters perfectly. Don't worry, we are going to still do time leave to put all this in a form and display it in a graphical user interface 
using a form. So, but for now, I want you to understand exactly how it works. So, try to do get post by user, try to do get post by date, and maybe try to do get users by last uh, by last name. And then in the next class, we now try to do how to do a uh, query by criteria. We'll try to do something like how to do uh, a like close. For instance, if I come here and say from start select users where first name like or first name is equal to. So if I run it, you can see, okay, uh, I think I should. Okay, so let's. So where first name equal to, if I run it, it selects only the first name. But you can also see first name like, I don't know if I can get it correctly, but let's try. Where is this percentage sign? Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. So I'm now going to take out something from here. Okay, so I'm going to run it and let's see. So it also works. So how do we now write this like clause uh, in Spring Boots? How do we write this like clause? Not in the data.sql file, but using JPA to actually do like uh, return uh, uh, based on criteria. And also how do we do paging to return particular particular amount of records and stuff like that. So there are a whole lot of things to learn. So feel free, follow it uh, gradually, leave a comment to let me know if you have challenges so that I can help you. And also if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next class.